Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Good to see you all. Welcome, Lowdown, Clive, MSG, and I think that should say maybe Anton. Not entirely sure, but thinks that's uh, Anton. Uh, Archie, welcome as well. Good to see you. We're going to be jumping into uh, um, Space Engineers. We're going to do the scrapyard scenario that was created by Splitsy. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to do, trying this one out. Um, so what is the storyline? Well, there's not really a storyline. What is the scenario? You're landing on a planet with only a rusty rover. You cannot build everything. So you have a very limited building uh, radio, um, array. That means that you have to go and mine uh, not mine you have to go and pick up stuff uh, scrap it and then use that to build or upgrade your ships yo pass good to see you man how are you good and dark welcome i hope you're doing all right let's um let's jump in i have uh linked i have linked the um scenario in the description if you want to check it out uh if you want to see what mods he's using you can also check out splitty uh, and see all the mods he's using. A lot of the mods are already pre-installed on the scenario, but uh, you can also go and check them out if you want to. I have done some adjustments to mine, so that I'm starting on the same planet he is doing his uh, playthrough, which is the uh, the same planet we're doing, what's the name, uh, the platform missions on. So that's cool. Now I'm going to play some music and see if that fits, but uh, we'll see. All right, let's continue first. And 
jump into the gameplay. Ba, ba, ba. It's very quiet, isn't it? I was kind of waiting to put the music on until we actually start falling into the planet. Um, there we go. All right. So as you can see, I've added the Satrius planet to this system. I also made it so that we have the drop pod there. So we're going to choose that. We're going to respawn there. And let's go. So this is the rover we're starting with. The rusty rover it's called. It's a small little rover with a battery. Uh, we got a programmable block on that. We have a survival kit, a connector, some hydrogen. Uh, as you can see, the uh, gyroscope is not fixed yet, so that's broken. So that means we're going to have to find some resources for that. Now, let me just check my inventory. We do have some extra parachutes, which I probably want to avoid using. So let's um, turn off our parachute and say closed off. There we go. Yo, Paul, welcome. So, this is the rover we're starting with. As you can see, it's called the uh, Rusty Rover, this ship. Uh, although, my beacon... Wait. Ah, there we go. Um, I need to remove my body location, if I can. Uh, delete. There we go. Is it blurry? I don't think it should be blurry. Uh, everything seems to be fine quality wise so you might have a double check uh, Archie, uh, Archie if your uh, YouTube is set to 420 or uh, to, uh, 1080 um... let's see do we have anything else we got some iron nickel and silicon I'm not entirely sure how I did I get that Because there's no real point in having that. We got some tools. Which is the same here. Let's take a... I don't need to really need the weapons for the moment. So yeah, let's go. So what we're looking for... Is for... Um, scrap. So we're looking for buildings. Places. Now what I want to do probably is... Put a... I do want to have a GPS here. GPS start position. There we go. So I have a little bit of an idea where we're going. So I'm going to go... What is the best option? North, east, north, north, east, north. All right. Uh, hello, Paul. Welcome. Yeah, I saw Spritzy doing that uh, on his live stream. He was doing the uh, building of this scenario. I was looking forward to trying this one out. Um, I have to be careful because my uh, gyro is not working. That means I can easily fall over. Uh, to be honest, I don't want to go through... I want to stay in the sand for the moment. Let's go to the other side. Let's go south. Let's go south. No maps? Uh, no, there's no maps in this one. Yeah, uh, Space Engineers doesn't have maps. I think there is, if you do Aris at War, which is a uh, another scenario, you can find a map online that you can check on, but it doesn't show you where you are, so you have to kind of use the map, check the area, and figure out where exactly you landed.
Now, because my rover's gyroscope is not working, I have to be careful because that is also my survival kit. If I die, that means I need to respawn. So I need to make sure that I either find a second survival kit. It would be great to find the base of operation quickly. So there's gonna be markers spawning suddenly, which show me like there's a building there, there's a building there. As but I need to be nearby of of course. I'm trying I'm driving still careful because I don't wanna go over head. Uh you know what I didn't do? I I might have to check, but I might have to turn it off if it's not. Because uh, there might be unknown signals. I'm not going to pick them up if they do drop, but I might have to turn them off. Hey James, good to see you man, how are you? Uh, I had to AFK just after you came on. Is this a challenge and did you create it? No, I didn't create this scenario, it's created by Splitsy. And this is a... Um, scavenging scrapyard scenario which means you have to scavenge parts from other buildings ships broken down buildings and either build exp you know, expand your rover or improve on uh, your building uh, maybe make a ship but all of that has to be done by scrapping the parts so I can build like blocks, like, you know, steel plate blocks and stuff, but I cannot build an engine, for example, or a refinery. I'm just driving very carefully. I have no idea how, how uh, safe it is, and I don't want to risk it. Yo, Ben, welcome. Good to see you, man. How are you? Uh, we're going southeast. I'm going to keep going south. We just... Come on, guys. Show me something. Give me something to grind down. I was honestly considering of doing this on a, a multiplayer server and have some people jump in. But, man... I, I don't have good I don't have a good track record for the moment with servers. I really need to figure this out. Space engineer servers are pretty complicated if you do a mistake with certain setups. And we do need trash removal if you're doing this in multiplayer. Oh, careful. Uh, how does this game works? Well, this is a sandbox game, Archie. Uh, Sp Space Engineers itself is a sandbox game, which means you can just jump into a system or a planet or whatever. You can start building things. You can start, um, you know, it's uh, build your mining systems, mining vessels, uh, ships, combat ships, whatever you can think of. It is really not a lot of limits to what you can make in Space Engineers. But the thing that is definitely lacking in Space Engineers is a storyline. That means that if you want to do like story playthrough, you have to either create it yourself or you play with other people and then you create like a role playing. But there are also others in the communities that are creating scenarios. And that is, a, that is something that Space Engineers is pretty good at, is people making a system or a story or a situation and then share it to others to try it out for example this one i'm also doing another one which is called this um, um it's the making plan fold i'm doing which is a pure building system one the the one i did before was uh, escape from mars which was a, a little bit more of a survival slash combat Come on, I just need something to spawn in. I want to fix that uh, gyro to, to be a little bit more uh, secure. Uh, 
Uh, is this your first day on the server? Oh, no, this is not a server, Ben. This is uh, just local play. And this is not my first time playing uh, Space Engineers, but I'm assuming you know that. Yo, Hero, welcome. Good to see you, man. How are you? Is that mountains? Yeah, okay. I thought it was ice first. That would have been insane. That would have been an insane start. I mean, you can find ice in other places, but being able to build on ice would be insane. <laughs> Come on. Give me something. Give me something. Is that ice? Wow. Hmm. This feels a little bit too easy now. <laughs> I mean, too easy. As in, this is a very big pro. So... The, the, currently, there is no real enemies here. I'm thinking about adding enemies, like, in the future, but I don't want to add them now, or it would make it too easy for me. I mean, it would make it challenging to survive, because, especially in the beginning, with just a pistol and some bullets. But... Okay, so there is definitely ice. Uh, what was that? Give me a second. Uh, Discord? Is it Discord? It's Discord. Uh, I'm going to stay away from the ice for the moment, because I don't want to be driving on the ice with this. Hello, MSG, uh, hello Memo. Good to see you, man. How are you? I hope you're doing all right. Last time, uh, I think it takes some time for the game to start settling down and starting to figure out where you are. Not entirely sure. But I might just drive around my starting position a bit, see if I can come across. Because it spawn. So what happens is, these uh, things spawn around you. That means if I would just be driving, 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 then everything is going to be spawning behind me. So I probably need to stay around in the area. <coughs> uh, Space Engineers looks really beautiful. It is a really great planet, by the way. This is a really good crafted planet. It's the same planet we're we actually using when we're doing... Um, uh, 
make it planetfall. But it seems like I'm in a different location with a lot more desert, which is okay. I'm currently driving at 14 meters per second, which is not quick, but I'm not complaining for the moment. I want to start with space injuries as well, but oh boy, it's pretty challenging. It is challenging. Memo, when I did the first time, I was really frustrated with this game. Uh, I would definitely suggest to uh, check some uh, starter, st starter um, videos. I made four of them myself, which allows you to learn the basics and how to get to space. Um, another one that I would definitely recommend to watch is Splitsy, because I would say he's the... Uh, the guru of space engineers uh, if you looking at like uh, beginners guides and uh, explaining the game All right, let's fly go to the north Yo, Frodo, welcome. You know, when I saw your name, Frodo Baggins, uh, I had to think about the song from uh, Flight of the Conquerors again. <laughs> Yo, Frodo, would you take the ring? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if you ever heard that song, but it's definitely good. Barbarosa, welcome. Good to see how are you. Come on, spawn something in. Uh, hello, Heather. Good to see you. How are you? If you guys see something popping up in red and I didn't notice it, let me know. So there should be red markers popping up on the screen as soon as something spawns nearby. Or as soon as I come close to something that spawns nearby. Let's say it like that. I'm doing good, Heather. I'm doing good. Come on. Uh, is this a new start? Yes, I'm doing an, a different uh, scenario today, Heather, which is called Scrapyard Engineering. Uh, which is, uh, you can not build anything except for like like some, you know, metal plates and stuff and like a little bit of uh, construction blocks. But you cannot build an engine, you cannot build batteries, you cannot build a drill, you cannot build a uh, medical base, things like that. So you have to find it on broken down buildings or vehicles. Now, normally, there should be way more things spawning nearby, but I'm assuming it might take some time for the uh, mods to pick up.
decided to play some uh, country music. Felt uh, <laughs> appropriate. <laughs> okay, I might have to do a... Well, I do have the starter rover, and the thing started on the location, so... So we know that there is ice near the starting position towards the, um, uh, let me see, careful, careful, not too quick, towards the south. So from the starting position towards the south there is ice. Uh, this is like watching Jason look for a grave in Nomen Sky. I just need one building to start with. I think once the first building starts popping in, then we should be good. Ooh. It's definitely foggy today. Guys, I need to I need to check something. So that is installed. Okay. Um safe, yes. I need to check my mods. Um Uh, runes mod, yes. Spawn rover, yes. Build vision, so everything seems to be... Yeah, okay. I think it takes some time for sure, the first one to spawn in. So maybe I should have done this uh, from the beginning, but yeah, it's okay. Hey Tim, welcome, how are you? Right. Um, love me some Fly of the Concords. How is the internet treating you? For the moment, okay, uh, Tim. For the moment, okay. The one guy was an extra in Lord of the Rings. No, I like a lot of Fly of the Concords. I think they're uh, pretty genius as well.
Yeah, I think so, Wild Bear. I think so. <laughs> Yo, Lee, welcome. Good to see, you, man. Hey, Style, welcome. Good to see you. How are you? Josh, good to see you as well. Hello. Okay, I'm going to drive around the mountains. Let's do that. Man, I would like to fix my gyro as quickly as possible. I'm pretty sure there's a command for it to trigger it, which I don't know. Getting nervous. <laughs> uh, so just that you know, I really tried this out and it did work. So I'm sure it works. I just don't know why it doesn't spawn anything in now. Uh, is this a DLC? No, this is a scenario, Barbarossa. Uh, by the way, did I... Because I set this up for this planet, I forgot to turn this off. Hey, Midnight, good to see you. How are you? No! Yes! Uh, performance issue in front of an audience? I think so, avoid law. Come on. Oh, 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 that's, uh... Whole month of screw ups and weather delays, I finally got a new metal roof.
I mean, this is 20 minutes of driving for the moment and nothing has spawned in so far. Are we there yet? <laughs> so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to drive around the same location I spawned in to hopefully get something to pop up, but... I don't think I can do anything mess help, no. No. Mod is enabled. F2. I got my mods here. Colorful icons, built info, paint gun, and rich health master. That's the only thing. Uh, you mean you're running in circles? I'm doing it on purpose, uh, Wild Bear. Uh, you're like Mad Max driving around the post... Well, I would like to see some signs of civilization or something. Now, I did turn off the uh, unknown signals, and I'm not sure if that is what triggers the first one or not. That's the only thing I did different with my test. I know it don't seem like much, but if you knew what my stress level did during this whole fiasco... Isaac, welcome. Brist, welcome. How are you? Good to see you. Alright, so I'm back, almost back at my starting position and nothing has spawned in so far. Hey Akine, welcome. I have a problem, nothing is spawning in. Uh, it did spawn in during my test, but nothing is spawning in right now. We're doing like half an hour now. Uh, can you check admin too? That's a good call for the buttons. Let me see. Uh, Alt F10. Admin tools, entity lists. Nope, nothing has spawned in so far. Let me just try something. If I do load game and then we do edit settings advanced and i'll turn back on enable this for the second okay then we go to our mods so this one should be the one that triggers everything I'm just doing the uh, the thing on, so maybe that triggers anything spawning in from the moment, and then I'll turn it off again afterwards. I 
I'll not I will not pick up the uh, unknown signals though because otherwise that beats a bit the purpose of this Um, hey Dennis, welcome. Uh, the only things you can drive into are the trees. They are more of an aesthetic than anything else. I'm not sure if there's any mods that allow you to like chop trees and get resources from them. I don't know. Guess we're gonna have to drive over that, which is not great. Hmm. Boy, mom, good to see you. How are you? Uh, be checking your beginner vids. Thanks, appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad they are helpful. They did pick up a lot of traffic lately with Xbox Game Pass being released, so that was nice. Excuse me. Got to do some bouldering. It's like that off-roading game, Expeditions in Space. The problem is that my rover is not really fit for bouldering yet. And there's pretty rough terrain here, These uh, the red ones. You know what I could use as well as a light? There's no light on this? Wait, what? no light on this i didn't re even realize there was no light on it let me just turn my light from myself on then so okay so we have a little bit of light hey piggy do you have infinite fuel no i got seven hours of battery left when i'm driving um so that means i will have to either recharge somehow or uh, restart uh tim thank you so much for the f for the 10 gifted members i appreciate that man 07 <sighs> uh, to you uh, yeah i cannot drive down there you can drive down there 07 tim indeed thank you so much man Ten gifted members. Oh seven. Man. I think this might just be a bugged version. I might have to restart. It works 100% because I've been trying it on my uh, other one. So I'm not sure what is different here. It definitely didn't take that long for something to spawn in.
Will it be the plant you're starting on? No, because it's the same. I, I did the same. This is a copy of my world I, I tested. So it should work. No, I didn't uh, do anything in cleanup settings, I think. Uh, trash removal is, is disabled. Can I have a cookie? So, Akini, I'm, I did test this on another playthrough, and this is a copy of that playthrough before I jumped into it. So, it should work. Um, the only thing I could do... So this is the one I'm testing here, works perfectly. This is a template I'm working from. This is this template is the same as this and this, and I didn't do any changes. The only thing I can think of is that, enable auto respawn, respawn ships, enable... No, I didn't do any change except for that, that's the only thing. And then mods... This is all the same, except for the planet, but I had no issues with it before, so... So what I can do, I can duplicate this one again. It's not like we got anywhere with this. So if I delete this one or just let me um, edit and say. Non spawn. And let's try this one. Let's uh, save as call this life. All right. That's the one we want to do. <laughs> Shasha, Shasha, welcome to stream. Good to see you. I'm doing all right. I just don't get my uh, thing to trigger. I'm pretty sure there's a command to get things to trigger, Akini. I just don't know. I didn't get any uh, 
unknown signals as well. So I'm wondering if just as a bug. Alright, so I don't have anything. I'm gonna kill myself. So I can respawn on the planet. Alright, let's start with uh, first things first, um, inventory, GPS, remove my body location, delete, if we do Alt F10 and we check our entity list, there should be, there we go, now they're spawning in. Now they're spawning in. So it has to be something, I don't know. Uh, parachute hatch, I'm going to turn you off. That's only one, no? Parachute, yes. Lights, I don't have lights, no, okay. Alright, here we go again. And... So, what are we doing? Following south, east, let's go east. So, there must be something that didn't trigger with this uh, the first time. The question is now, where is it? And another thing I want to double check. Did I turn this off? Yes. How far are these things? Six kilometers, six, 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 six. So they should be like six kilometers and No, uh, Piggy, this is uh, Split C. Ah! Uh, I'm still not over how much nice atmosphere the tie tracks add. You mean, yeah, you don't have that with a hovercraft, don't you? Hey, all explorer, good to see you. How are you? Welcome.
No, but I can drive sideways while screaming at the hovercraft. Doesn't sound like a positive. Uh, we are using a uh, Satrius uh, Shasha, which is the same planet we actually have for um, um, making planetfall. See you later, Heather. Thank you so much for joining. Have a good one. Come on, come on. Give me something red. We are three kilometers away. It's still a slow drive as well, no? As soon as I get better wheels, it's gonna go so much quicker. Leather header. <laughs> Where's the ice? No more ice. It's it's okay. I found I was like a little bit too like what now already ice? Mm. I, I just want to see, am I driving in the right direction or what? Eight kilometers, eight kilometers, eight kilometers, eight kilometers. What the hell? <laughs> uh, all right. Guess we're going to drive the other side. <laughs> this was a bit cheating, but uh, I just want to have a little bit of action going on in the first hour. I assumed it would have spawned around me, but it seems to spawn in the direction I was pointing, it seems. You head into the desert? Yeah, because the desert is nice to drive in. Especially now. I'm wondering if there's nothing spawning in until something disappears. I don't know exactly how it works. So, um, there seems to be a module that spawns in and then once you come near it, Part of that spawn point disappears, and then only the the uh, scrap stays. That's how it kind of works, as far as you can see. I'm wondering if the MES works in such a way that it doesn't spawn anything in until something is taken away. I, it is Akini, but I don't know how it works. I uh, wonder if people will have a uh, Jason meltdown. Nah. Uh, Midnight, thank you so much for the five gifted members, man. I appreciate that. 07. And welcome, everybody. Good to see you all. 50 people. Uh, as, as from the moment... From the moment I can get my gyroscope fixed maybe get some different wheels on it that is gonna be such a difference oh seven midnight indeed thank you man i don't want to drive in the mountains damn it <laughs> i don't want to drive in the mountains not with this thing
Uh, by the way, am I having a feeling that this uh, back wheel is turning in a different direction? Oh, there we go. Abandoned settlement. Five kilometers. Yes. Finally. Uh, so that's uh, west, southwest to west. We're going to drive through the valley there. The lack of whiskey. What lack of whiskey? Oh, 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 oh. Calm, calm. Now that we finally have a... Uh... I'm not sure at midnight if my meltdowns were so severe, though. Yes, I just uh, returned to my spawning point because the uh, things were on the other side, so I had to go back. We're gonna go drive through the valley, and then we're gonna keep driving west-southwest. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. You know what it, you know what this is a sign of midnight burnout time to take a break uh for the moment not dennis um and i was actually i was explaining that and before i forgot to continue so i'm i'm assuming or i'm thinking about adding extra mods later which spawns in enemies but I don't want to do it right now, because first of all, I do not have the defense capabilities. And if I in any way manage to kill them, I will have so much great things um, that it might just beat the purpose of this scavenging. But once we get to a good settled point, I might then change. Or when I lead, when I leave for space, maybe then I add a different thing where we'll see. Where there's actually enemies. Aognum, welcome. Oh, that's another. Is that the same one? That's the same one. Oh, careful, careful, careful. These... <laughs> no, no, no. Straight, straight. Ah. I don't have anything to rotate this thing. Need to be careful. Ah! I have to be careful. Careful. This is the only thing we have. And we finally got the red marker. So we don't want to die now.
So the only difference is that I turned on unknown signals. I'm not sure if that is the cause of it, but... Okay, I'm gonna try to take another... Uh, I'm driving the wrong way no am I not give me a second we are going south southwest Where, how did I turn around my um how how did I what You can do it, little rover. Isn't it like a, an animation or a, like a cartoon? He thinks he can, he thinks he can, he thinks he can, he thinks he can. Is that a, uh... Kurt, welcome. Uh, I don't know if you can play this on Steam Deck. Maybe you can, but maybe not as... Um... This thing definitely doesn't have enough grip to, um... Okay, let me rotate my thing here. You know what I want to check as well is, um... Wheels. How much grip do you have? Strength 15, friction. Let me just give you a little bit more. Um, another thing I want to check. Do all wheels turn? No, they don't. Okay. Now. This is a right wheel. This is a left wheel. Okay. Uh, Jason, welcome. Good to see you in the stream. I hope you're doing alright. If you drive all the wheels turn... Okay, that's the direction we want to go. Let's go that way. West southwest. Uh, 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 uh. By the way, jetpack also doesn't work here, so you cannot fly. So this is a pure um, road trip scenario. 
I mean, you cannot use your jetpack. I mean, you can fly once you get the uh, ship parts. Okay, we have to go that way. Ah. Oh. Quadruple gravity? No, it this uh the the uh it doesn't work. It uh, just doesn't work. Cannot drive off there. I think we can drive here carefully because this is a really steep. Could go there. That might be a smarter position. Uh, yes, Bob, this is the same planet. This is Satrius. How are you doing, Bob? Good to see you, man. Uh, unuseful, by the way. Welcome. I, I said... I didn't say hello to you yet. Good to see you. Driving Simulator 2024. It will change once we get out of this. This is the, the hardest part is getting that rover to a safe spot so I can fix my gyroscope and. No, not there. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a rough ride. We, I hope we don't tilt. Man, this is going to be so painful if we do. Because this is a pretty steep... No, 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 no. Slowly. Could you use mag plates as brakes? Um, I mean, no, no, not really. The thing is, also, I don't have the resources for it, so I cannot. Um, I cannot build anything. Man. This is all too steep. I have to go over there. We need to go there, I think. <sighs> Just go we. If I go Wii, we can start Wii all over again. <laughs> does it have a parachute? It does have a parachute. It does have still parachutes. That's a good, good idea, Bob.
All right, so I can turn on my parachute again. Let me just... Um, uh, parachute hatch on. Auto deploy height 400 meters. It should normally automatically deploy in the matter if I uh, high or not. Uh, we should have another parachute in here. All right, guys. There's a little trick, by the way. You won't lose your pad. Oh, I did lose it then. I, I was too late. I was too late. Thank you. Let's go. <laughs> ah. Let's go. Let's go and get this thing a little bit sorted out. Uh, Josh, welcome. Links, good to see you. If I missed anybody else, welcome. Good to see you in the stream. Yes, Ogden, that's the only thing. <gasps> that's actually one with power. That might be my my starter base to begin with. And then we focus on other things. But finding a spot with a... With a wind turbine? Thought you were going to bounce and roll down the hill? I had hoped it would jump a little bit more, but it just followed the curve. The problem was that... I probably could have used my suspension jump while driving, I'm not sure. Hey Ramesh, good to see you, how are you? That's actually not bad, because that means I can recharge... I can recharge my, um, my rover there as well. Is that? It's a, it's a broken turret. Phew. We got a container, we got a battery, and... Wait. You shouldn't be working, no? I'm just turning you off just to be 100% sure. It has a toilet. <sighs> Was about time. Whew.
So this has large steel tubes, motors. That's good. We'll need that for wheels. I cannot grab that ladder there. Yeah. Inventory full. Now, I think we're safe, so we can drive the rover closer. Don't you dare scrap that toilet. Yeah, well, and I need something to fix stuff and build stuff. So if I, can, if I just have to poop in the sand, that's going to be it. Let's see. Can I already fix it? No. All right. This one has two small large steel tubes. Uh, no, there's no jetpack, uh, so you cannot you cannot fly up to anything. You have to use scaffoldings or whatever. Uh, construction computers, construction computers. There. Can scrap one of them. It's gonna be two though. Uh. Inventory full. What? Components could not be deposited. Damn it. Okay, I think we're gonna to have to fix that container there. We do need four computers. Uh, you have none. You have none. You have none. Uh, there is so as you can see, I have the uh, mods to be able to uh, manipulate things, so I can lift them. Uh, is there any space in these toilets I can drop stuff in? How, ma how many computers are in here? None. Is there any space in this? None. So there's no point to this at all. Man, I might have to grind down this one to get... If you flush, there might be more space. <sighs> There's six computers in here. There's four computers in here. Can you build a... I don't know how much is my battery left. I'm good on battery. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find anything with computers in. Uh, 
Uh, also, I don't think I can build uh, another connector because I need 20 computers for that. Two computers. I need three computers for my gyroscope. Uh, so, I cannot scrap the windmill if I want to keep it. If I scrap it, I cannot rebuild it. So, I need to either grind it off and take it with me or I need to mark this position and come back later when I need power. This only gives me two computers. And was there any... Is there anything here that gives me computers? If I would, for example... Yeah, but if I grind you down, I'm losing my... Oh. Hmm. There's two computers in here. So I could grind down my programmable block. As I don't need it yet. Um, you know what? Let's get rid of this. I got two metal grids. Oh, that's from the, um... I have space in my cockpit. Uh, not in this one. <laughs> this metal grids are gods. Alright, so. Did you deactivate the item perch? Yes, I did. Oh, I didn't enable it. Let's say it like that. It's this, this uh, deactivated automatically. Uh, there is no computers in this. So let's move this up there as well. Have you already found a home? Uh, it's not going to be my home. It's going to be my temporary uh, storage st charging station. But I need to find something to build everything I need. So what I can do... Uh, Midnight, good to see you. How are you doing? Welcome. Uh, we have one large steel tube here. Got two motors. 
and two small steel tubes for the moment. I got five. Six. That means I could extend my wheelbase. Okay, that's all clear. All right. Can I build a piston? Small steel tube. I should be able to build a piston. The place does have a shed for our for placing a bedroll and a toilet. We need one computer. Which we can take from you for a second. How many computers do I need? Three, no, and one motor. Okay, I got my computers. There we go. Now, can I put a Mac plate on that? So the reason, so the jetpack you can use for this, to rotate yourself, to look on the bottom of your ship or your vehicles. But you cannot use it to fly. So I got three, three, all of these are three, no? Okay. If I would like to make a uh, five by five wheel, wheel, off road, left, off road, right. We need four small, small steel tubes and two motors. I'm just trying to see if I can enlarge my wheels. We definitely have enough of these. I don't think we have enough motors. There's only two motors in here. I did grind down motors here. I could grind down the motors from the wind turbine if I want to. There's four motors in here. I don't think I have enough to make large wheels yet. No. So. I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna widen my, my base. And for the moment, let's just keep a little bit of the team. <laughs>
Left. Left. And let's do the right ones. You know this will not help your turning radius. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean with that. I could probably make it a little bit longer. But I don't have a lot resources to spare. So they face downwards. What? Ah. Alright, so we got a bit of a wheel base. I can uh, switch this lock. No, I don't have a, I don't have, what you say it, and and um, I only have a few. I only have a few parachutes, and I think I only have one, which is my last one. So I don't have any motors except for the uh, wind turbine. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna. Uh, GPS this. And we're gonna grind you down. I don't have any... Oh, fuck. Um, do we have any steel plates in this?
Right, so this is gonna be a little bit safer to drive. It's not ideal, but it should be enough to keep us a little bit more safer. Let me put the rest of that in here. Um, another thing I should do is maybe build a light. If I can. Alright, let's go. Let's see if we can find some more resources. This was a great spot, but... Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Control panel. Wheels should definitely not be driving that quickly yet. Um... Not thousand, hundred and ten. All right, so we came from there. That's our starting position. So let's keep on driving. That way. I'm going to try to keep in the sand, though, this time. Brakes on the front wheels. Uh, allow braking off, I would say, no? need a metal detector instead of ore. <laughs> it's definitely better looking during the day, but uh, it is going to be what it is. That is north northeast. Starter rover. Ooh. I did, Dennis. Um, it was fun, but not as satisfactory as I. Uh, as the name suggests. Now the question is, is this in the mountain range or can I drive around it? This weather is terrible. Cause it come up oh, there. One, two. Ah, that's good. Let's go.
I don't think that's the starter rover. I think that's something else. Ah. Uh, Five hundred meters. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, guys! I think that is my starter base. Look at that. Wind turbine building. Look at this. Uh, survival kit? How much? There's no medical components. But that's good. That's a second survival kit. So that means... And a container. Ooh. With metal grids? <laughs> oh, and there's a connector here as well. But there's not a much in there. So, what is, what is connected to this base? Let me just check. Control panel. Uh, we got a bathroom. <laughs> we got a LCD. We got a wind turbine. We got some inset lights. I think these... This might actually give me computers. Uh, six computers. Yep. I don't need the uh, display. Thank you. Uh, quite some resources in this one. Okay, that's good. Are there computers and inset lights? No. This is a... I think this is definitely a keeper for the moment. We got a wind turbine on top, which I'm going to have to claim. Uh, what's that? Another survival kit. Okay, I'm good. Two survival kits. A beacon. I think this is uh, ideal. We got a rotor. There's a container in there. I think these are all conveyors. Hey, Smo, welcome. And Hassier, welcome, by the way. I don't know if I said hello to you. Let's get this rotor. Nothing. Conveyor, conveyor. Uh, conveyors are really good for the uh, motors. Excuse me. Hey, Chaotic. Good to see you. How are you? Alright. We're gonna have to uh, hack this door, I think. Yep. Uh, there must be a new update close soon, I hope. Are you talking about Space Engineers, Mo?
Uh, I don't need to. Uh... So this is a good start. That means that I can go and collect the other stuff when I'm more uh, prepared for this. But uh, yeah, this is good. Uh, silo, this is going to be what? Small steel tubes, which is nice. Oh, what, what do you have? You have 20 computers? Ooh, baby. And another car, car container. Ah, I think we're good. That's it. No, there's no more buildings I missed. Connector. Um, yeah, no. Smo, I do think there is something coming because uh, in his latest uh, talk, uh, he was definitely talking about things were coming our way. Five perks, that's good. No, they they were actually talking about the uh, the upcoming update. He didn't want to share anything, but. He said there were some nice things coming. Yes, Akini, that was exactly what he was talking about. Yep. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I think this would definitely also uh, breathe new life into the game. Because a lot of people are craving this kind of story-based... Um, I mean, more, more interaction with, Inventory you know... Full. The world. I also hope they do release uh, more economy uh, mechanics and maybe even allow it for mothers because I do see uh, some mothers talking about what would, could be done with that as opening it up to the public. Right, I think we're gonna upgrade our uh, our rover already. Make it larger, put some mag plates on it so we can start collecting things. Can I sh move this? I can. Let me just um. I think I can make. Uh, I think I can make grinders, so I might be able to make a grinder pit or something in the future.
Um, I would say the worst part in this game is the AI. I think we need something to fight and like maybe help. Um, I have to say the the ones that were like added with the uh, mods are actually pretty decent. Yeah, vanilla definitely needs uh, vanilla definitely needs work. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just grinding everything away, which is gonna give me resources I need to upgrade my rover, and uh, it also clears up the area. This is not something I probably will be doing constantly, but I do need. Inventory full. The starting resources. Uh, this is so addictive. You mean grinding? <laughs> You don't want anything between that when it comes down. Inventory full. Hey, we'll bring it welcome. I wonder what would be the best mod to add for uh, enemies on this. To make it a little bit more exciting to combat wise. I mean, uh, what I mean with that is I'm looking for a way to make sure that I I'm not getting advantage of getting great fancy stuff. I want to get... Uh, I don't want to have like a ship landing that is like amazing, which I can take over and fly away. Because I think that's definitely the balance that needs to be got. I think it would be great to have like a building with like... A robot or a guy that is like protecting his little piece of land. <laughs> See you later, Smo. Thank you for jumping in. I appreciate you being here. Um, I need to get to that, um, yeah, but a certificate positions does have very fancy, uh, buildings and batteries and stuff like that. So it make it, it might make it too easy. I have tried to learn how to be a fancy pants in Space Engineers from your streams. This might be more up your alley. This is uh, not fancy pants at all. <laughs> Yet. Okay. 
what else do we have that is still unaccessible? I think everything is mine now, no? Corner lights, bathroom. Fine. Energy low. There was a was there another another one out there? Um, you know what? I might not do that yet. Let's just build a uh, connector on the back here. Uh, pipes, large conveyor, uh, small conveyor, connector, <sighs> cannot withdraw 12 computers. There was definitely something with computers, no? I think it might have been one of these uh, conveyors there. Uh, what do you mean you need to still play? What? Damn it. We need 8 motors, 12 computers. This weather can eat my...
Wait, are you not making enough power to charge this? What? Entirely sure how this works. I am out of O2. That's not good. How do I get O2? Wait, is there no. Um... Ah, but as soon we get O2 high, we should be okay now. Yeah. The only thing I could think of is... Do you have anything? You have a rotor, you have a gyroscope. We got some batteries. Um, I got this wheel. This connector is pretty pointless. Oh, there's a hydrogen tank there as well. What is this? Is this a small car container and an antenna? I don't think we have antenna materials and I might have been withdrawing the wrong stuff. Yeah, I don't have radio components. Oh, <gasps> another metal grid. See, this is how you work with Metal Grid Akane. People need to be excited when they see it. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, event. That's good. I cannot grind it off, so I'm gonna have to hack it first. So, I'm using advanced welding. Which allows me to grind things off without grinding them. So that's... Uh... Might have to grind that block away, we'll see. I'm gonna put you on the pressurize. There we go. You are gonna make oxygen. I mean, I do not have oxygen, but you should be able to extract oxygen out of the planet. And if I jump into my cockpit, you should. 
Uh, it does rate them, but it costs you something. So it cost me computers and metal uh, steel plates. And computers are currently really, really um, low. So I don't want to use them yet. So well, pads. These are all small batteries, so this is not bad. Hacking batteries is always a pain a bit. Uh, saddle cockpits. I want to see if I can fix it because there might be something inside. Okay. There should be another one of these sorters there. Uh, Raiden, welcome. Good to see you, by the way. Uh, don't you get O2 from ice? You do, but I need to find ice first. Um, and I also need to have a uh, O2 H2 generator. Uh, you don't have any computers. Damn it. Um, there's going to be no computers in here. This looks like just a silo. So this is just going to be scrap metal. Um, do you have computers? No. Nope. So I'm out of comp oh, wait, what's this? 20 computers, but there's none in here. Okay. I can grind down my connector for now, so I can fix the cockpit, Let's check if there's anything in there, and then... Although, if I grind down the cockpit, shouldn't that give me everything inside anyway? Uh, it's weird, your auction is low when you're near that one vehicle. Um, it's not storming right now, um, Ben. But I think if it's storming and if I go inside, it might be better. I'm not entirely sure. I didn't check it. How much does this toilet have? No computers. Shower? No computers. All right. I'm just going to grind this off. If there's anything in there, we'll get it. Large steel tubes are definitely important. Okay, I'm going to grind down and see if we can get this hacked. As long as the power cells are in there, we're good. I think that's good. Yes. Okay, that's one battery. This I should be able to hack. No, I need to hack the rest first. So as long as there's something with computers in there that is not hacked yet, the grid is unfriendly. So you have to hack everything first before you can start grinding the blocks off that are not complete. That might be because of a funny bug where grids that were in low oxygen environment when created by removing it from another grid. <laughs> mm.
has small steel tubes. I'm just gonna throw this outside with the uh, scrap. I'm gonna keep this small container for now. In case I need it for something. There's still something that is, uh, I think it's the batteries. This I cannot... Come on, just tilt over, you stupid piece of... Come ah. Alright, what do we have? We have a container, we got batteries here. Uh, you guys cannot see what I'm doing here. I'm trying to grind uh, in such a way that I'm not losing my power cells from the battery. I just want the computer gone. There we go. So if I weld it up again, I can then detach it. Yeah. I think we can use these probably on our rover as a, a little bit of backup. Access the night, so there's still something that is. No? I think it's the container here. Okay, now everything is gone. So we got another gyroscope, which is nice. We got another container which is empty. This is a custom turret controller which is nice in the future. Anything else? These are all batteries that are not Energy complete. Low. But it might be good to just keep them for the moment. Uh, Azriel, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome to the Beebles Hive. <laughs> I'm always confused in which channel I am. <laughs> Cannot detach enemy blocks? What do you mean cannot detach enemy blocks? I just... I think that was a bug. I'm so confused. Why are you confused? Ah, no, I'm confused. That's what you probably mean. Alright, that's the survival kit, which we're gonna keep. This can go outside.
Is that it? Did I clean up? Alright. <sighs> Time to uh, expand this rover, I would say. Energy critical. Meh, 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 meh. Let me just sit in the cockpit Energy in the meantime. Low. I can drink. Um so yeah we can we can disconnect Actually we should connect and get rid of all our inventory There should be a uh, small cargo container this one here so that we can what? 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 Ah, it's the cockpit. Oh, sorry. Um... It's from the cockpit. Excuse me. Can I get the parachute hatch or do I need to take it from here? I don't want to lose that. All right. So now we have a completely empty rover. We're going to focus on rebuilding this. Um, the question is, how much steel tubes do we have? We got 34 steel tubes. Ho, 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 ho. We're good. All right, let's start with uh, lifting this thing up. Um, I think we're going to grind everything away, except for the survival kit and the battery, maybe, so that we always have a spot to start from. Put the drill in your rover to free up space, which the, the, you mean the drill I have on my inventory?
Um, if I put the drill away, how much difference does this make? 53 to... 28. Huh. Are you going to add more storage to the rover? Yes, but uh, I don't have storage here. There is storage at the windmill. So I will just uh, have to think ahead. Uh, that dude, by the way, welcome to stream. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to have to build... This is all going to be small grid containers or large grid container... Uh, small grid, large containers, but we'll see how lucky we are with that. Um, that means I need to think ahead of... Locations. So I need to keep this battery connected to the survival kit. Otherwise, I don't have a respawn point. We also cannot grind down the tank. Otherwise, I lose my hydrogen. Which is not important for now. But I don't want to have it lost. I think you should put wheels on the building. I don't have enough large uh, tubes for that, um, Bob. Uh, still need that t-shirt. Which t-shirt? Uh, unusual. Good to see, man. Welcome to the stream. Uh, uh, unusual. Thank you for joining. That's what I meant. And have a good one. Have a good night. So I'm going to detach you. Your t-shirt? You mean the HTHD? <laughs> oh, you want my t-shirt? Oh, there's a container in here. I didn't even see that one. What are you doing here? Hmm. Uh, there was nothing in my cockpit anymore, no? No. Um, I have a feeling that the survival kit will have to be either an end piece or a side piece. Could be a side piece. So we could have the survival kit and the cockpit next to each other. Are you going to give it a fresh paint? No, we're going to start now painting everything to a color, uh, Bob. Fit for a lover of metal grids. This is definitely a lover of metal grids playthrough, uh, Akini. So I think we're gonna do this. 
the cockpit to the next side and then um but then i cannot have a conveyor system so what we need is a conveyor system that connects to a connector on the back we could do it on the side is that important maybe this so let's say we have a connector on the back so we should put a connector here with a container and the cockpit next to it so that means it's going to be you know what let's let's give it already um One, two, three. That is where our container and connector is going to be. That means that underneath here, this is where our cockpit is going to come. Then we have one, two, three for the, con the connector with container, and then one, two, three for our survival kit. Now, if I want to use a cockpit, we can either use, uh, well, let's just take this one. We either have the large connector on the bottom. We have the large connector on the bottom. Then we have the industrial, but I don't have 10 metal grids, so I don't want to use it. So if we would work with this. Like that, then I think we need. Fighter, yeah, but it has 10 metal grids. I don't have 10 metal grids. And I prefer to use the metal grids for the containers in the future. Or hydrogen thrusters. So we can't take you away because now we're going to have a container on the other side. foundations Energy low. So we got the energy low. Okay. I will turn off unknown signals for next time. I just want to see if it triggers the uh, thing starting. Just lower the piston till you get to the wheels. Ah, uh, yeah, but that's okay. Works like this as well. Because I probably will do 5x5 five five wheels, so I'm assuming we might actually be too low. We'll see. So, the width of the rover for the moment will be this size. It's pretty bulky, but...
So I will grind away. I'll, I'll wait with the wheels, then I can check where I want to put them. Uh, is where the drill comes in play. Five by is where the drill comes in play. I don't know. Uh, left. I think we actually are going to be good. Five by five. Should be good. So there's going to be a. Four. There's gonna be a container here in between, and this is gonna be holding up the survival kit. Then I want one, two, three. One, two, three. It's gonna be two containers. And then one, two, three, one, two, three. That's gonna be three containers in a row. That's not much. That's like 9,000 liters. But the cockpit should have another thousand. The connector will have another thousand. I cannot put anything in the survival kit because that doesn't work. And what I will have to do, I will have to probably, because we will find a large container, so I think that's five by five now, so one, two... That's five. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So that should be the container setup for now. There's going to be three containers and one large container. So that allows me to put some extra stuff on the left and the right. And then in the front, we should have a platform to put some stuff on with Mac plates. So we could do... Let me just weld this up so I can see the difference. Uh, we're going two blocks out, so let's do that as well. One, two. One, two. And then how much blocks is in total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means the center is open. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I think I'm going to make the rover this large. going wide enough here uh, 
All right. So how many blocks is this in total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So I think I might do... Wheels here. And then narrow in there. wheels here and then this becomes an angled piece so wheels in the front wheels in the back I think somewhere here I'm not entirely sure if it's two or one block, so we'll have to see. But if I do one, which is left, five by five. No, I'm moving the piston anyway, because I need to lift this. So I'm going to put another piston to just lift this higher. Uh, Tim, see you later, man. I appreciate you jumping in. I hope you're having a good night. And thank you again for the gifted members as well. Appreciate that. Uh, this was a left one, no? Yes. It's going to be a serious upgrade. Uh, I'll never steer you wrong. I be I beg to differ. I beg to differ.
Uh, Anton, have a good one as well. I appreciate you jumping in. Have a good night. And I'll see you next time as well. Yo, elusive, welcome. What do you mean you need steel plates? Okay. <gasps> what? I'm out of steel plates? <gasps> what? <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have to do some grinding then. Energy low. Meh, 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 meh. might have some computers in there yes Can I get into my cockpit? I can. Uh, sitting at my dad's playing Starfield on my Steam Deck. <laughs> However, when I was sleeping, just installed my 49 two days ago and just got the game on it for the first time yesterday. So we got two wheels. I think we need to put another set of wheels somewhere here. Let me just fill this up. So, uh, as I said, I think... I think here should be okay. I was a random placement. Let's go and get some metal or oh, steel plates before we continue. Am I happy this is not steel uh, metal grids? Build building blocks. Hmm. I do like the designs. Uh, 
and here as well what I used to make the um, scrappy looking buildings and it was nice to see also that he used a lot of the uh, community created parts I'm hoping we have enough motors. Yep, we have. Okay, good. Alright, so, like I said, we're going to have our uh, containers here. That means we could put batteries underneath here as well. I'm gonna leave this open for the moment. Uh, we have a hydrogen tank, we have a container. Uh, do we have anything else in here that we would like to use? Not really, no, for the moment. I mean, I don't think we need these little containers anyway, it's a bit of a waste of space. As they are too small but we could put our hydrogen tanks in here or should we put no let's put them underneath the more we put on below the more space we have to put on top later so if i take my hydrogen tank here and then we go and get the other one as well yo john welcome You are what? One, two, three. How many blocks are you? One, two blocks. So two blocks. If I put a merge block here. Like that. And I think if I put you here. Uh, the ultimate no starter ship definitely is. There's definitely a much, a much higher risk here because if you flip your rover, not a problem. If you flip your rover in Space Engineers, it's bye bye, rover. Do the same here. Can we fix this? 
I don't even know if there's any... Uh, I don't think so. I think this is empty because the computers were gone. So I think this is, yeah, empty. Um, now, what do we need? We need you against that. That means we need a... Now, now that I'm building this rover, we're going to try to avoid all fl flipping because um, of the width we're going for. And I'm also going to try to put a lot of weight in the bottom of the, sh uh, of the rover so we don't get the... Give me a second. Ah, there we go. Um, So now we got two tanks, which is enough. This is just to be able to refill my hydrogen if I need it. Um, but there's not going to be any flying on this ship, so uh, on this rover. Energy low. Okay. Um, what I want to do, I want to put batteries in here. The ones we just picked up. Uh, I might want to make a little bit of extra... That's good to be. Um, we well, you know what? We might actually not put any batteries here because this might be a good way to pipe something up to the left or the right if it's necessary um so we're just going to start our batteries from here we got one two three four batteries for the moment that are complete i don't think we found batteries so far did we in the um I throw this to the window. <laughs> uh, what mod is what? The um, oh F. What I'm doing here, grabbing, is uh, improvised experimentation. I think. Critical. As far as I know, uh, John, if you decide to do this scenario, it should be downloaded automatically for the scenario.
It's always a challenge, this. <laughs> Finding the rotation point on it. How, ma how much does this take to make one? Motor, computer. How many batteries? We have four. So one, two, three. Yeah. Right, so we want this to show here, so we need to have... This to point that way. Got a little bit OCD here, but uh, if you check, uh, by the way, John, if you check uh, Splitzy, he uh, he does this one as well on video. Uh, he actually has the mod list he's using uh, linked to it. So you can actually find every mod he's using in this um, scenario if you, if you don't have it installed. Um, what are we doing? Uh, this. So we want the... That to be on the bottom. And then we want to rotate you. Here we go. All right, so we got four extra uh, Enjoy the Wellpad mod. It is great, John. Uh, it is actually included in as well, but because it cost me computers, I don't want to use any Wellpad well so far. Wellpad. Um, so I'm going to put... And I'm going to give this a different color so we know that there is actually... Uh, conveyor system possibilities here. Just to um, uh, 
This also blocks me from putting anything there if I don't want to. So we got four extra batteries, which means I can now move this battery if I want to. <laughs> so yeah, don't stand on the blocks you wanna pull. <laughs> uh. I think we could put our battery here or we put it flat the problem is if i put it flat um, i'm wondering if i need to switch my uh, survival kit and my cockpit i prefer not but we might have to shift our survival kits forward. No? I mean, is it important if I if I jump in my cockpit, I get my hydrogen back now? So I don't want to recharge. I only need to recharge and respawn. There is no real point of having this connected except for O2. But if I put the O2 there and we have a tank and it's linked up to that, we should be good as well. There's only two ports, one large and a small. Uh, we can put the battery one layer before. Yeah, we can do that. So let's do that. Um, I should... Let's put the beacon first. So that that is done. Um, I'm going to try to shove the beacon in between here. So I'm going to open this up. Uh, while the beacon fits in between here, it's very hard to get it to... to fit in between the... Um, when trying to uh, grab it. So I'm just going to put a... merge block here. I'm going to put a merge block here. So the merge block is definitely the cheapest way. And I think I actually did it wrong, no? Did. Or not. Yes, I did. Mm. 
The merge block is definitely the cheapest way to do this because the weld pad costs you one computer and I think a steel plate. So a lot of the blocks you can move, not all of them, because some of them are really heavy. If you have a full container, you won't be able to move the full con Ah, no. You won't be able to move the full container. Is there lights on that side or not? No. But that's the same, no? Okay, so we could put the lights on the outside. But now you're blocking the pad. I am. I am actually doing that. Dennis, I didn't uh, look into that. So I'm going to leave space in between so I can do some piping if it's necessary. Um, nine. I'm gonna snap you against the battery, and then we're gonna snap you against here. Energy low. So now we have a battery. If I find another one, I can put it there. I would prefer to find a warfare battery as well. If not, we just put another one temporary. Um, and then there's going to be a row of containers in between with the possibility to have a large container uh, in here. Uh, let me just recharge. Hey Marcus, welcome. Um, what I could do is put my beacon in here instead. Uh, if I put it to the back here, or... I kind of want to keep this open, so if I want to add another row of batteries, we can put them inside the floor here. Um, so if we put the beacon in the back, that should be fine. There's going to be a connector here, that means it's going to poke out a little bit. 
Um, yeah. Blenderman, thanks so much for subscribing and welcome. Should I put a pipe in the floor? Uh, like this. And then go up. That should allow me to put more stuff here. If I want to put, for example, uh, a gyro here, maybe an antenna. So if I... Uh, that's what I meant. Okay, good. <laughs> I could also go underneath and go like that so it looks nice and straight. Might be nicer. Just, I, need, I mean, this doesn't make any difference. But, just looks a little bit cleaner. Right, conveyor six. Cannot withdraw motors. That's gonna be a. Uh... Ay ay ay! Five motors left. Mm, there might be some motors still in the conveyor systems there. So let's. Um... So let's go straight ahead. And then we could do another straight here. And then we need an elbow. Yo, Blenderman. Yeah, it is definitely a great uh, one as well. This, I'm always impressed with the, the creativity of the community making these uh, scenarios. So much that I have been really, really interested in making my own. Why do I need a T-junction? Um, to watch your cargo? Ah, that's a good call. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call.
I think you said that a while ago, what, that it was a good call. <laughs> nah. So there should be a container here, perfectly snapped on this snap point. Then there's going to be connected there. And then we can have a pipe up here. Now what I'm thinking is we don't need to do both sides. If I can leave open more space, I have more space to put things. No? Although it's gonna look cleaner if I just put like two... Yeah, yeah, let's just make it... Let's just make a T like that. And then two bends. No, no. There we go. So now this is linked up with the cockpits and the hydrogen and it will also be linked up once we put containers on that. Now what I want to do just to kind of give me an idea of where everything will be. There will be a container here. This is for the uh, off chance we find a large cargo container. A uh, large small grid. That should be more than enough for a decent strip. And then we have enough space here to do some like Mac plates and pick things up. And I think we should build the crane on top of this cargo container or maybe no it would be here so I think we're gonna have the crane from here to pick things up left and right um, preferably on the container now my question is did we what's this Is that a cube? Yes, it is a cube. Um, did I put everything in here that we need? We got gyros, we got our beacon, we got a battery. I thought you found a one where the other stuff is. I got one container uh, at the windmill.
energy low. Um, I don't want this. No, no. Uh, it's the large one. Uh, no mediums yet. Uh, are you sure it's the large one? I think it was a small one. Did I? No, I, this one is a large one. This is a large grid small container. This is large grid small container. But, and there's another one there. A large grid small container. But the one at the windmill, um, which is there, the wind turbine, there should be another cargo container there. Um, should I keep the parachute? Maybe. I don't need this yet. The uh, programmable block. Uh, anything else I need? Car containers? No. Batteries? No. No. So that's going to be a bit of the beginning. I want this on my ship. Uh, on my rover. We want this on my rover. And we want this and... Wait. Did we not find another one? Wasn't there like a... Another gyro. Because we need two gyroscopes now. Looks my Warhammer painting table in here. What, what do you mean? The... Uh, the rover. The good thing is, once we have done all that, we can do some serious exploring. And hopefully we find some... Um, containers. Half finished things. Yeah, I left FG everything out. Critical. I left everything outside just so I was like... I think I want this on my rover. This recharging is so slow. Ain't nobody got time for that. So the recharging as a mod? No. Uh, as long as you have a battery on your cockpit linked, you should recharge your uh, suit. Oh, no, no, Blenderman, that's definitely my plan to hopefully find some tools. I actually was hoping to find some in that building, but uh, it's not as it doesn't have um, what you call it. Our uh, lockers. Definitely a well that would be great. A grinder is good as well, but not if you want to hack batteries. <laughs> Any cockpit? Yes. A cockpit, a chair, everything that is linked to a powered grid will recharge your suit. I think even a helm will do that, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, if you want to have recharging your hydrogen and oxygen, you will have to have it piped up. That's why I have this pipe system here. So that my hydrogen is linked and my oxygen later as well. Uh, the thing is, you have not as much as control blender man if you're using the um, the elite grinders because it's like goes much quicker through all the components. So you have to be really um, careful 
what you grind away. As soon as the power cells are gone, they are gone. Level 1 welders are definitely slow. This is one steel plate. I might actually hold off for the center. <laughs> um. Yo Fred, welcome. Good to see you. How are you? Let's go and grind some more um, metal plates. Oh, I'm hoping you're feeling better, yeah. Netherlands here. Hey, Dennis. Uh, welcome. Um, good to see you. Good to see you. I've been so long since I spoke Dutch. I'm Belgian, by the way. Belgian. But I've been so long out of Belgium that it takes so much time for me to sometimes catch my words again. You will. It's been a while since I actually swore in Dutch. I think most of the time I spread as it's in. It's in um, No Man's Sky. <laughs> uh, why did that need steel plates again? I oh, had yeah, there. Give some extra supports to these wheels. So I'm not going to do too much fine tuning for the moment because I do want to do some exploration. It is getting dark, which is of course not the best, but calm down the what what? I didn't swear. What what? deal with these uh, guys as well in my chat all the time um, making me confused calling me names This is not something obvious, no. I mean, not something that happens a lot with Jason. Doesn't swear a lot. Uh, he uses mostly his bleep button. Alright, so... I think we can drop everything now. Uh, let's see. I need my gyros on there. But I think we can loosen this up.
this is not gonna last long. Uh, G com cockpits. Uh, handbrake on and off. Here we go. Um, Uh, so is this a new one you started? This is uh, the other one I'm starting today, Fred, which is called the uh, Scrapyards Engineers scenario. I did yesterday, yeah. I did the other one, uh, Planet Fall, yesterday on Friday, and today I'm doing this one. Because I really want to start this one, and I was like, if I'm going to wait too long... It's going to get a little bit too old, so I want to be on this quick, at least quicker. Okay, I'm going to have to use weld pads for these. Did I put my wheels on the same level? I did. I think we have a little bit of a problem with the connector being higher. It might connect, we'll see. Yeah, let's see. Can I... I'm trying to see if I can power this thing up while I'm uh, trying to weld this thing. No. I'm going to have to lower my uh, wheels. I guess so. Uh, you still were with your piston? No, the piston that you removed. It, was, it, is not, it wasn't there anymore. Wait, what? Off-road shot? What? used to wrong I mean it's the same <sighs> damn it I used short ones on this and I didn't use short one on that I hot for them and yeah so this was my Dutch Flemish swearing
What do you mean you cannot withdraw motors? Did I not just... <sighs> None of these give me... I got four motors, okay. None here. None here. Did we not have like pipeworks as well? No motors here. No motors here. Uh, there might be motors in you. No. No motors in you. Wasn't there a connector outside? No motors in you. Inventory full. Uh, eight motors. Okay. I'll split his seal scrapyard. Yeah, yeah. I definitely like uh, his uh, platers as well. Let's do this again. These are all short. These are all the rock. Hot for them, and yeah. And here I was, thinking I was almost done. So we need right and we need short suspension 5x5. Five five. I do like that I said short suspension, but it's the Wait, no, it isn't, no. I don't even know anymore. Le never mind. Never mind. <laughs> How is the volume, by the way, com the game compared with my voice? Because I know that these storms and welding can be pretty loud. It's good, okay. Uh, game is kind of low, it is. That's so weird, isn't it? I wonder how YouTube is dealing with that volume then, because I'm in like... My game sound, according to OBS, is like just under the red. So, we got a short, short suspension now again.
All right, so now that I have the right wheels on both sides, I can sleep peacefully. Then we're gonna make a group again. Uh, I'm gonna call this the R&R &R because that was the rest and ready. And the name of it will be Rear Wheel Suspension. Let's just do Rear Wheels. There we go. Now, I should also give all these the R&R &R prefix. There we go. And then we can lower uh, decrease, increase, decrease, and increase. There we go. Uh, plus I have to tonight in the other ear well. Um, let's see, can I fix this? Yes. Okay, we got two gyroscopes. I think for these we're going to have to use the welder pads. Now... I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to put them. Should I put them in the back? Or should I just put them below there? Will I get this in between there? You're stuck. Get out. <laughs> Damn it. All right, we're going to have to grind this one away and then put it back later. You see what I mean? It doesn't allow you to put these things in between because it seems to have a bigger collision compared with... So I have to put something else there, I think. I'm gonna have to put these on a different location. They always uh, seem to block each other, so... Let's put the conveyor back and we can put something else there if it's necessary. Joker, welcome. Uh, everything looks great on YouTube side. Thank you. I gave you subs and likes too. Thank you for playing my games. Also hit that like button. I bank it. I bank from it also. What? Not following. Oh, 
Oh, you know what I do? I need to put building blocks here. I don't think I did that. I did it here, but I don't think I did it here. Yeah, okay. So, I need the uh, welder pads, so let's get these. We need four weld pads. One, two, three, four. Um, let's put them right on the wheels. One here. Uh, did I put it on the front or the back? Uh, front. And then I need to find you. MSG, you're still around, no? Yeah, all right. Just... I'm getting a little bit careful. All right. Yeah, it does seem to be very weird. I'm not even sure if it's a real person. No, that's true, Marcus. Uh, I mean, I can understand. I wouldn't say... Um, I wouldn't say that I need this already, as I... But I do enjoy the scenarios. I'm pretty fresh on this game anyway, so... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put you on top of that connector. This is actually a... I think this is a great cockpit for a tank. Because of the toplet. Now the question is going to be... How am I going to connect you? Do I connect you through there I can
So this one is going to provide me oxygen. Uh, we also have the parachute hatch, which I... I don't think we will need right now. So let's uh, move it inside. Yeah, yeah, Fred, I'm doing the Planet Fall Cities on Fridays. Although, um, I have to say, this week might uh, be different because I have family coming over. So I might not be doing... Um, I might not be doing any streams on Friday. All right, so I'm missing another line here. Right, so you are not... You should not steer. And you should not steer. And you should not brake. And then you should have a lower steering angle of 15. All right. Anything else? Before we head off. I can always grind this down later. So there's no rush. As I cannot do this container. There's no rush here as well. This is just a nice stack of steel plates. Which are okay. Too bad you can't copy paste settings for blocks. Uh, what do you mean for like settings I put in there? Is that what you mean? Actually, you can do that with the um, with the build planner, uh, not with the build planner, with uh, build vision. I, I I should look into it because I'm not entirely sure how this works. Um, I'm not sure what you've been smoking. Um, I'm going to take the computers with me so we can fix things. Uh, interior plates, construction computers, that should be okay. I'm going to take eight steel tubes with me. I'm going to take my drill with me that I put away. 
anything else that I should take with me, these are always the hardest ones to find, I think. The rest is like grit. You know what? Let me just take 30 steel plates. Uh, 30 of you and all of you. Just uh, in case I want to fix things and I don't find it. So there's no ores in assembly. No, Dennis, there's nothing here that is... Um... Uh, should I go for red? Maybe not. Maybe green is a better idea. Because if I see a red, I might think that's the... Uh... I do that. There. So we have a green home. And I think we can remove this uh, respawn pot thing as well. Or at least hide it. All right, let's go, I think. Uh, we need to lift our wheels again. Uh, what was it again? Was we on 31 or, let me see, control panel, 45.8. 45.8 Okay, we need 45.8 So, 9, 8 I think that should be it, no? Yeah Uh, I got one day battery. Should we go and get the wind turbine, maybe? What's this? Is that the uh, a fallen down tower? You know what I should have had on my thing as well? Is lights. Go and get some lights on this. This does feel very stable, as in... I'm not feeling like this is gonna tilt over yet. We want blinker lights. Uh, we're going for the wind turbine. Wind turbine and container. I hope I have enough stuff with me to make... Well, is Bob still here? And grind down the toilets. Oh, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> that was a little bit too much of a jump. Yeah, this thing is driving what 50 meters per second i should probably slow down my speed i think especially once i get the stuff on it i need to drop it to like um, 30. I didn't really think about fixing the container, we'll see. We need computers for fixing the container. I'm a bit sad about the lack of B yellow light so far. What's B yellow light? This is a small car, yeah, medium car container. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Okay. So that's gonna be our first container, which we're gonna fix and connect. Let's see what we have inside. Yeah, toilet is going. Bob didn't say anything. Got his chance. <gasps> we got a battery as well. I forgot about that. Okay. Um. Does this look like a warfare battery? It is a warfare battery. Oh, really? Uh, excuse me, where are you going? Hmm? Please stay there. You're gonna give me quite some resources once I have the container up there. Uh, I think there's a lot of Blue, yeah, bulletproof. Yes, I think we're gonna take a lot of this away. It's good for building, so, um. Alright, let's. Oh! <gasps> oh! Put that in. In there. Then we're gonna take you and Yeah, I I I am pretty okay with building cranes. I'm not as good as making them automatically, which uh I need to figure out how this part thing works. What was that? What kind of jump was that? Hmm? Hmm? Now, the question is, do I have enough to make... <laughs> I might have to grind down my 
card container just to get the um, computer I need. There we go. Now I can. There we go. Our first container. Wee. Battery is going to go on there. And I'm assuming that is the direction the battery is going to point. Um, the problem is I don't know which is which. This has the lights. It doesn't show here, so I probably will have to take it off again. So maybe I just put a Mac plate for the moment. So nine... Two mag plates. Let's put one here for the this, and let's put one for the battery. Okay. Um, so. I'm going to take some of the stuff here, like the bulletproof glass. Girders. How do you pick up? Uh, I'm using the. I mean, it's part of this scenario. I'm using the improvised uh, engine. Imp improvised experimental. I don't know, I forgot the name. Um, which allows you to pick things up. Which is definitely handy for a scenario like this. Because otherwise, <laughs> it's a lot of hassle. Um. What's in here? Uh, is there something in the center there that I... What's that? No. Just a block. Uh, construction computers and interior plates. Maybe you should just pick it up. Because we're going to have to build these pillars again anyway for the wind turbine, so...
Okay. <laughs> I could have lost a toe here. Inventory full. I forgot I was actually under something. <laughs> Did we forget something in that shed? I don't think so, no. no. Wind turbine, delete. Brum, 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 brum. Let's go back home with my wind turbine. Uh, wait. It's, uh... Oh yeah, Fred, I'm aware. I'm aware. The thing was, I already was there, so I knew there was not a gun in that one. This was the first building we came across with the wind turbine, and the second building we came across is the one we have our home for the moment. Gun has entered the shed. Alright, I'm not going to install this one because there is no real point. I got still one day of power on this uh, vehicle. If we could find a battery or something, maybe, I would prefer that first. What does an antenna do for your base and vehicles? Um, you can use an antenna uh, a little bit like a beacon, so you can see where your vehicle is. You can add the... you can large make the broadcast larger or smaller but that a beacon does it as well an antenna will allow you to take over the grid when you have a remote control block so if there is a remote control block on the grid you will be able to use the antenna to connect to the uh, remote control and drive or fly with it or control a base without having to be there Hola. You have to be careful as well because I think there's a here in this pit. You don't see it, but you would be driving and then suddenly Blamo this thing in front of you. You see I've been watching <laughs> Spitzy stream Blamo. <laughs> uh So for the moment, I'm going to take this battery off. Uh, we only should have two Mac plates now. Uh, auto lock, unlock.
Um, so if you have a remote miners, you can switch them on and off and deep and mine deeper. Uh, yes. So if you have an antenna, you can say broadcast radius. I think 20,000 is the maximum. And then that allows you to reach a base 20k away. Now, if you put relay stations with antennas, then you can actually jump bunny hop from one antenna to the other to reach the other one. Um, oh, you're full. Okay. Um, See if we can find something else. If I could find a battery, that would actually be perfect. Uh, that's where satellites come in for some distance, I presume. Uh, you could actually make a satellite uh, a race where the satellite is kind of... But the problem is you need to keep it powered. Although 20,000, you could make a satellite array that keeps... in space, because it shouldn't move as long as it's not in gravity well. The gravity well depends a bit on what planet, though. So I would go for antennas instead over the planet surface than satellites um so we came from there we're gonna go that way northeast no what, what is this west okay let's go west go west Yeah, I'm not really keen of jumping into the uh, right side there. I have not seen anything pop up as well as in a market while we were here. Let's go southwest then. It's a pretty sleek rover. <laughs> Can definitely do some turns without uh, feeling the need of uh, tilting, so that's good. It's bad the game doesn't do multiple auto saves. Actually, it does do backup saves, um, Dennis. If you go into your, if you open up the well, are you on PC or are you on Xbox or uh, PlayStation? I'm not sure if that works the same. Oh no! I oh, uh. yep. What did I lose? <laughs> I 
No? Okay, just a little bit of fire. Um, only way to play this. Uh, Dennis, you should have backups. So if you if you go to instead of loading your game, like continue, you go to load. Then you look. There should be an option saying backups, if I'm correct. Okay, this looks like a dead end. Uh, you will need to turn this into a Batman Begins mobile. Uh, I think you can actually set as well the autosaves to do it every so many times. So what it does, it saves, then it saves a new one, then it saves a new one, then it saves a new one. I think mine is set to five, and then once it got five, then it starts deleting the previous one again. So it just keeps on cycling between five uh, saves. I think you can change the amount, I, can I think you can change the time between them. Needs wings. Ah, I know what is parking. You see here, it's starting to shape a little bit. Yeah, that's the thing I was expecting to take damage. question is does anything spawn nearby that's the question i am now four kilometers away from my main base so i think we should start seeing things popping up I think uh, with the, uh, what you call it, the aerodynamic, aerodynamics mod, this would definitely fly, just with the flat thing it is. <laughs> I'm B-Man. Great weather. kilometers well 5.3 but i'm about to go to six kilometers a couple of solo paddles <laughs> this is not fog this is dust
Uh, they usually spawn. Yeah, well, as you can see, there's nothing showing up. As far as I noticed, about four, four to five kilometers, you should start getting new things spawning in. But um, uh, we are getting to a little bit of a rough patch here. This is my starting point. And I don't want to go to my starting point. I want to keep on this side. I just want to check something. If the... Um... Oh, look at that. There's definitely enough things that jumped in. So, there should be enough around me to find. Yes, they do spawn in random. Uh, so they are using the MES uh, system, which is a uh, system... Um, how, how would you call that? Like a, um, a building block where other models can build upon and have things spawn in on that system. So... So, for example, uh, Splitsy made the uh, Assertive Acquisition mods, which allowed... Buildings to drop with uh, the fences and drones. This almost looks like a dry water, what you call it, riverbed. This redstone, it's almost like this was, used to be a river here. But there should be, I mean, something should have popped up on my screen. If I'm nearby, at least now already. Mm. So if you see Splitsy doing this uh, recording where he finds things, it's just because he's editing. I mean, you don't want to be editing just driving around. They are not always that easily spotted. I think they come better and better the more you drive around because then you start spawning them in. And then um, 
when you pass by to get to another spot or you fly over them, you will suddenly see way more. It's definitely very quiet, no one descends. Four kilometers. I'm not entirely sure if it was to the right or to the back. So let's keep going west and hopefully it pops up. Now, four kilometers should be visible. Antenna beacon. Uh, the antenna and the beacon don't make a difference uh, as far as I know because I the beacon doesn't the beacon doesn't recognize spots only the antenna does the beacon is just a a beacon question is now, where did I see it? It could have been to the left, it could have been behind me. Let's do a little bit more of a careful drive now. Let's drive up this hill for a second. Yeah, they do flash quickly and uh, you can just drive the complete wrong direction if you're not. I think there might be something down there, but. I wouldn't have done this with my small rover. Stuff didn't spawn in the mountains. No, it looks for it looks for uh, flat terrain kind of. Although I did f I did see them spawning on top of mountains. If there's a flat piece of terrain on top of the mountains. Four kilometers. That's a question, no? Four kilometers, how far is that? Especially if you're starting to climb mountains, your perceptions changes over, over time and speed.
Is that something or is it a plant? Cargo container! Nothing in there, okay, but car container is good. Um, let's take the wheels. Uh, yes, I need to cancel. I need to uh, disable it. It's uh, I enabled it to see if it fixed my issue with the uh, things not spawning in. I assume that was the signal. Um... Do I rotate my thing so I have a... Do I do this so I have the connector on top now? Or on the sides? Uh, no, because the connectors are going to be hidden by the battery, okay. I mean, he cannot withdraw a computer. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> Alright, we got another container, which is not bad. We're now 10 kilometers away from home. So if I drive a little bit this direction, and then we can go back home and see if there's anything spawning on the way back. I think we might could use another gyro especially if we're gonna have a weight on it was that a marker that I just saw spotting or am I starting to hallucinate in the desert
One down. Welcome to the channel and thank you for subscribing. By the brown mountain. You mean here over the left now? Ah! Okay, that's how you hit the tree. It's Metal Grid Oasis. Wait, wait. What? Yeah, I didn't see the marker, that's the problem, so I'm not entirely sure where to drive. And I also really don't feel like crossing a mountain ridge again. Especially if you have a lot... Oh, oh, there, there, that was something. Yep, 1.4 kilometers. You know what I need to put on here? It's a searchlight. Because you can use a search uh, Calm down. You don't know what's down there. You don't need to be excited. We will get there. Hola. Como estas? <laughs> uh, guess we're going to have to... Yeah, and I think you can also use searchlights to uh, actually use them as cameras, no? To look around. Perfect spec to wreck your rover. I am aware. Especially because they are so... Uh, I mean, the craggies here are the most dangerous ones. The redstone. That is painful. Alright. We've got another wind turbine. Is that all? Or is that what's that next to it? Uh, what is happening when I'm trying to? <gasps> My wheels are stuck on the uh, on this. Ah! <laughs> uh, I need to take away your road there. Okay. Give me a second. I was like, what's going on here? This is too much. This has to be like this. I need to do the same on the other side, but... Um, yeah. Another toilet. I don't see a shed this time.
I think toilets. Wait, that's not. Inventory full. Meh, 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 meh. Inventory full. Now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that because I feel like this might be a better one to come and pick up with a flying ship. Um, I should probably uh, take that over. Just so um, it's my grid and it doesn't show red anymore. That's the advantage of being uh, on single player, so you don't have to bother about or be afraid that you lose it. Because if you're playing in server, then a buy. I'm going to see if I can get somewhere down and then we might be able to drive around back home. Might have to slow down a little bit here, because the the grass does hide. Bumpies. Back on the flat. Is this the split? See, this is the yeah. This is the uh, scrapyard engineers uh, one down. And welcome, by the way. You probably had to subscribe just to be able to ask this question, didn't you? <laughs> uh, Uh, the cockpit is here, um, the back. Yeah, 
you subscribed a bit ago uh because we just got your um i just got your notification subscribed but and it, it just but i got your subscription because i i know a lot of people are like ah oh, why do i need to subscribe to chats it's like yeah i'm sorry the only way to kind of keep bots out no uh youtube has definitely calmed down but um there's still some issues now and then Is this uh this feels like a big detour, but okay. That means we're gonna be spawning in more um And this actually I do like the little flat setup of this rover. <laughs> It does hold itself pretty well. I don't want to jinx it, but it doesn't feel like a... I'm happily commenting on the severe lack of accidents. What's that? Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to cross. Let's cross over there. That seems to be the shortest jump. I still need to be careful because this is still me, my only survival kit. Yeah, I do like this one as well. This, um, I do like the challenge of a uh, a good scenario where you have to figure things out or, uh, you know, where do you struggle? I think I'm starting to see icons popping up while they are not there. Where are we driving to? Um, I'm driving back home, I think. I mean, I'm trying to get back home while looking for other... other uh, scrap locations. Can we have a stop to pee? I'm sorry, I just scrapped all the toilets I came across. Just dig a hole in the sand and pee. Uh, the keyboard shortcuts. Um, I think you can actually uh, enable them to show while you're playing. So they always show you the keyboard shortcuts.
I mean, what shortcuts are you looking for when down? It also could be that uh, maybe you're uh, having a mod that you're used to playing. Seems most scrap doesn't have beacons on it. Uh, did we find one on the... No, I don't think so. But you can actually find quite a lot of beacons in uh, sheds, uh, Ramesh. Uh, if I hit with a bush with an arrow... Yeah, it does happen, but you need to aim properly. So it might have been just lucky that you hit... Well, or unlucky the before. You can also shoot these uh, little trees and with wood. But you need to hit them like one or twice before they break. That no, it's a tree. I like the sand. This is great to drive. By the way, if you don't like these uh, rough edges on the mountains and stuff. There is a mod called Smooth Voxels, which takes away all the cracks and breaks and stuff. So it is definitely more safe to drive with your rover. Now, I'm wondering if I would install the antenna on my ship... Or on my rover, if that would trigger the markers more. But who wants safe? Some people do want to save uh, at night. I mean. I need to find a bed. Beeps hasn't taken down for steel plates yet. Uh, I can have a good one. I'm actually pretty uh, close to ending the stream anyway. I had hope we could find something nice still. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, there we go. Abandoned settlement for kilometers. <laughs> Should have left earlier, Akine. It's probably a shipment of metal grids now. I'm wondering if it's on top of the... Let's see, can I drive over this part here? Four kilometers. That's still pretty far, though. It's probably going to be beyond the mountain range.
I got three hours left on my battery. How steep is this? Not solar charged as you drive. I don't have a uh, solar panel on my ship yet. On my rover. I keep saying ship on my rover. If I would have a solar panel, I could charge the batteries. If I find an engine, I can also charge them with hydrogen. Three point nine kilometers. Uh, west. No, it will not open. So it's north. Uh, am I experiencing some frame drop? I think it's the grass that does this. Uh, Daivanti, good to see you, man. How are you? Shouldn't construction vehicles have yellow or orange lights and not red, red and blue are for coppers? Ah, uh, this is my braking lights, um, Daivanti. <laughs> okay, there should be something here. Is it that there? Top of the hill? Yep, that's it. Okay, where do we go? There. Supply view. Um, I'm polite. There's nobody on my server <laughs> because it's not a server. It's local. All right, let's go.
Does this look like a, a, sh a fl um, plane? Oh yeah, this is not. This is the uh, space. Yeah, like this is um, scrapyard engineers, Daivanti. But the other one I'm doing, Planetfall, is also uh, local now because Bob decided to stop. Uh, nice truck. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just gonna grind it down. I mean, I'm gonna grind down what I need from the truck. Uh, I think if I take down, we'll have to check if there's a cockpit in front that there was was address ah, there are cockpits okay there's quite a lot of hydrogen tanks as well uh low down see you later man thank you for jumping in have a good one yeah, we're gonna try Monday as the Queen once again. We should be a little bit prep better prepared, I think. Fingers crossed. Alright, so that's that. Now, cockpits. Let's see if I have the resources to make it. I don't... Ah. I don't have computers. I need 20 computers for this. I don't think I will get this in here. I could, but I don't want to drive this whole thing home. Especially if I have to drive over mountains and stuff. I probably will lose half.
Are there new cockpits? Uh, these are the uh, cockpits that were released with... There was again. Did something fall through or am I... No? Okay. Okay, now I can take it off. This one has 8 metal grids, so that's actually a pretty complete one. Uh, I think that should be all that was usable on this uh, thing now. Are there any wheels? No large steel tubes. No large steel tubes. I think I just saw ice as well. There, you see it on the left corner? Okay, so there's a few things I need to do. So, we got a few tanks. I'm gonna put this here. One, two, three. We got the... No, it's, there's four. So, one, two, three, four. And then we also have... Let's put that here. Then we have two engines. We can put one here and one here. Are you sparking? No, but maybe I should do you again. Yeah. Uh, so are there more than four? Then you had a seat. So there is now, if I go to my G, or if I go to my blocks, you have now this cockpit, which came with the... I think it was Warfare. This you should know. This you should know. This you should know. So this is a new cockpit. Um, then we have the seat. Which uh, has... This you know. This you know. This you know. This you know. This is the saddle cockpit. Then this one is another saddle cockpit, but for uh, a different grid. It's a three grid. This is a two. This is three. And there should be... This one here, the rover cockpit, is this one.
right now we have the two engines which is going to be a bit of a challenge to get on here because they are pretty heavy so you will see that i cannot lift these from the ground um so instead what i might do is um Is there a reason why you're shaking, buddy? Uh, not really. Uh, pushing up the ramp doesn't really work. Especially on uh, the angle that I can only make. Computers. Let me just check something. You don't have any. I don't want to grind these down. Well, maybe not. Let me see. You have 5,000. You have 4,000. You have 5,000. And you have... So I cannot grind these down. You don't have any computers. You don't have any computers. So I might have to grind down one of my containers for a second. I might be able to lift you up there. Let me see. With a Mac plate that should work. So I'm gonna grind you down.
Damn you. <laughs> I don't think I need the uh, blockade if I do here. Yo, midnight. See you later, man. Thanks for jumping in. I think we might close off after this. The advantage is because I'm not on a server, I don't need to bother about... There we go. I might have to build this in. But maybe a better system. Energy low. That's okay. There we go. 
I'm not gonna drive home for 10 kilometers. I have a feeling we might come across more. So uh, I'm gonna call it here. Thank you so much all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's um, episode. I'm not entirely sure what's going on here with the wheels. This thing only weighs 31k, so it shouldn't be a problem. Hmm. Whew. Thank you so much all for joining. Appreciate you all. Um, I will be back Monday, of course, on the second channel, which is the B-side. Uh, there we will be fighting the Queen for the second time, hopefully with better results. Um, then we have probably Enshrouded on Wednesday, then Thursday another stream. But I have to say, I have family coming over from next week. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure what the plan is going to be. So it could be that Thursday, Friday will not be streamed. Friday most likely, but Thursday is a chance also not. So I will keep you posted if there is uh, uh, an update, if there is uh, news about this. But that's going to be it. Thank you all for joining. I'm going to check if anybody is streaming that we can rate. Um... Alan Paul, we can go and play Paul. Save. There you go. So Paul is uh, playing some No Man's Sky, most likely. Stick around if you want to see some No Man's Sky and show some love at him as well. Press a thumbs up, hashtag Biberate, and I will see you again uh, Monday. Have a good one. Bye bye for now. <laughs>